Hello, ladies and gentlemen, back to the podcast. I'm your host, Devon Gorham, followed by my good friend to my right is Brian. Here, one in present. <laughs> there you go, there you go. And followed by to my, well, across to me, that's Chris. Hey. There you go. And to my left is the one and only fantastic phone. That That's the fantastic phone? Okay, you gotta get it right. Okay, okay, okay. Now, Fallen, why don't you tell us the, su- the subject for today? Today, we were talking about whether you should be a dick mm. to the person you are dating. Mm. Can you say that sentence faster, please? Right. <laughs> I thought you were going <laughs> to just leave it at dick. Well, so should you, you be... How to be a dick? So should you be a dick or not? Whoa, what? A dick or, a a dick or not to be. That is the question. To be a dick or not to be a dick? On a date with a, you on know... On a date with someone. With, with a, a, someone. Yes. All right, guys. Um, who wants to start it off? Who, to be a dick or not to be a dick? Well, I am a huge gentleman person, so I always try to be nice to the girl. Be nice. You have to be nice. Mm. You have to show that you care about them. Okay. Before anything else. So you, you've never once tried to be a dick before in your life? Uh, uh, only to other dicks. Oh, but never to a girl on a date? Or to, <laughs> never to, to a girl. Well, not on a date. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay. This is, you know, going back to that conversation we just had about p***ing. In that situation, yes, I can be a dick. But not to the girls I'm dating. Okay. May, may I interject for one second? Yes. Now... Not I want to ask you a, a a question, Christina. Do you ever think it's a turn off when a guy is overly nice, too complimentary, no. too you know, just involved? No, they're not thinking. Okay. Now that leads in the conversation of what is faking. Faking. Well, if like you are a dick, I wouldn't force you to pretend to be something else. <laughs> Okay, but why do dicks get get more um not not reaction? Well, yeah, more reaction. Like then like okay, like we could rephrase it. Then guys that are, um, let's say mean. Let's use the word mean. Are more mean to a girl will get more further. Let's say, either sexual or whatever that may be with the girl than say the average that's nice whatever nicest guy. Like why why would they get more attention? Like they're the ones that end up getting the number or getting you know, the hookups and all that. Maybe they're just the ones you discuss it more. Mm. Yeah, here's the difference though. Is are you gonna be a dick for like a one night stand? I thought we were using the word dick, huh? Yeah. <laughs> you dick? <laughs> <laughs> you dick? <laughs> See, fuck you. Now, are we talking about these inconsiderate people? A more educational approach. Uh, these inconsiderate people. Are we considering them for for a long term relationship or? A uh, one-time fling that you know is not going to last very long. I say the the flings. Well, uh, so you're fling. saying an inconsiderate person would work better for a fling rather than a long, a long-term relationship. Yes, and then for the long for the girls that want the long-term relationships, then they'll go get the nice guy mm-hmm. after they have like the the inconsiderate guy. For all their like their needs, then their goal. Now, here's a question. You could use dick on that one. <laughs> I, I didn't know when was appropriate to use it, not to use it. <laughs> how can you tell when a person is faking? Like, how do you know he's being fake about whatever? Christina? Let's say disingenuous, or di- you, when you say faking, people are faking it. Are you making me think sex? <laughs> True. Facts. So they're Factual. Not, they're not genuine. So is. Do you have any tactics or techniques for detecting a disingenuous person? Um, you can usually tell by their movements and their mannerisms. Can you get more details on that? <laughs> like, what kind of movements are you talking about? Here? Okay. I mean, like, eye contact is a big thing, like, what they're looking at, or, like, how, where they want to meet you, or how they interact, how frequently they interact, yes. what they want to talk about. All right, have you have you ever had experience where like um a guy approached you and he tried to be like a bad boy, but you can tell like off the bat that he wasn't at like what he was trying to like portray to you? Yeah, it's sad. 
Also, you've had that had had that experience. Yeah. And you're like, what were some of the signs that like you're like, yeah, this guy's not at all what he's talking about. Um. Well, I think. I don't know. They just get like flustered and just ruin it for themselves. Mm-hmm. But, like some people can pull it off, and it's still not to me, anyways. Mm, okay. Okay. Cool. 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 What about you, Brian? Have you have you um, <laughs> like how are you like on dates? Or are you the nicer type or the more direct, firm type? You know what? <clears throat> I'm going to take this in a different direction. I think I'm attracted to a lot of girls who are mean. Oh, the reversal. Yeah. Talk about it. Something about it. It's oh. feisty. Oh. Fiery. Like, 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 how, like how? Like how? Like snobby, snobby like, like mean girl type? Like you can't sit with us? Like, 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 <laughs> like get away, Brian. <laughs> like... <laughs> You're not that funny. So the girls that don't want you, you're attracted to. Wait, so the girls who what? say no means no, but to you, no means yes. Yeah, <laughs> that's a slippery slope, Brian. They, that's a slippery slope, Brian. No means they, no. They tag me in a post later what too. Has no ever it's mean good. No. They're inclusive. They're like, hey, me too, Brian Ramos, and then it's right there, all in the same post. Wow. Well, Okay, that's a good. I I want to take this in a different direction now. Okay. Totally kidding. I, by the way, but no, but Mean Girls, yes on them. Let's Continue. let's play a game of scenarios with Christina here. We'll we'll give her a scenario, and she'll tell us whether that guy in the scenario is faking it or or uh, genuine, genuine, or creepy. I thought we discussed not to fake it, but yeah, genuine or creepy. Is that what you said? Genuine or creepy. That is, that is, that is the game. <laughs> genuine or creepy. Genuine. Right, let's start it off. Let's start off with something very obvious. A dick pic. That's just, I mean, if it's unsolicited, then... Uh, <laughs> well, I mean, it's a, if it's a genuine dick pic, or... <laughs> yeah. Okay. First encounter. We're talking about first encounter. <laughs> like, like right, I've always had a question about that. Do girls really like dick pics? Like, do they, like, do they get one and be like, "Whoa, this is cool"? Like, what the fuck? Like, do they? What they really like? <laughs> She's <laughs> saying no, but how about like no? taste, tasteful? Hey, I can't speak for living. Well, no, I'm just like for free. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I can't say that. I can't say that. <laughs> Cause like, why would guys be sending all these dick pics if girls? If all the girls didn't like them. You get me? Because I'm always... Why not just put that like as your profile picture? <laughs> it's slow. <laughs> they all get it. Well, because I feel like if you... If a lot of guys just send dick pics, it's gonna, just going to go unread. Like, you're yeah. just going to open it and then delete it or something. Yeah, because like 90% of the, the girl... The, the friends that I know that are girls, like, have said they've received dick pics at some point. Ah, a personal experience. <laughs> <laughs> I've said a few. <laughs> I really want that on record, buddy. I do. No. <laughs> I do. <laughs> and just shout out the number right now. <laughs> like, Mike John. <laughs> hey, zero, zero. <laughs> okay. Alright. Uh, let, let's go with the Brian scenario. You you meet a nice girl and you leave them their, their number. And you guys just go... He asks you out to get drinks or something. Would that be genuine from his perspective or from your perspective? What? Like what you, you just do to me? <laughs> <laughs> Would you in this hypothetical? I, I believe he calls you out. He no, called you out. Like, I keep zoning out, but yeah, sorry. Go like, ahead. I'm trying to think of something you've done with a girl. No. <laughs> How detailed oh. do you want it? Our fantasies come out. Is that, that, <laughs> is that what it turns you on? It keeps you up late at night. So I thought about what you've done to a girl. <laughs> Don't make me bring up that night. Ooh. What you... night? <laughs> we'll One word, part. Brian. Vomit. Ooh. <laughs> Let's not go into that, though. So, Brian... Uh, Pretty spicy. What what have that you was. how have you what method have you used to ask out a girl? Oh man. Don't lie. He's shaking. He's trembling. No, I don't know. I haven't asked anyone out in a while. Okay. 
Let's Bullshit. say you're you meet a girl, a really cute girl. You go up to her. What's the first thing you say? That's good. Well, I like there's that. There's this. All right. There's this pickup line I wanted to try. I haven't tried it. It's and it's not like a pickup line. Pickup Wait, line. Don't judge me. Try. I'm already judging you. Well, okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Four minutes left. So, if I went up to you and said. You know what? It slipped my mind. <laughs> well, well, that dramatic pause was all for nothing. No, okay, okay, okay. So, if I went up to you and said, "Hey, um, do you think I can get a a selfie with you?" Sorry, it's just I don't think my friends would believe me when I tell them that I just saw the most beautiful woman in the world. Would you take that selfie with me? I look you like. <laughs> I'm judging. No, right like, I like that because the way like, it goes with Brian's voice. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm very seductive. All right, so we have a uh, four minutes left, so I think we should all go around and say our favorite pickup lines. Just starting with you, Brian. Uh, we'll what, another one? I don't. Ha- I don't. Oh have well, <laughs> that's the one I came up with, and that's all I have. It's okay. So this it's is a okay. pickup line I go to after I've met a girl. It goes. Knock knock. Who's there? Who's there? I. 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 I found. His name is Phone. It's a whole thing. Don't do the hand. It's a whole thing. Yeah, his name's Uh, Phone. But it gets them every. Not you, but it gets them every. (laughs) Okay, you know what? I take that back. Every time you, I have never used that as a pickup line before. It has never worked. It has just been a conversation topic. Okay. <sighs> Very brief uh-huh. one. What's your name? Phone. Where'd you get that from? I'm from Bur- Burmese. <laughs> Bermuda Triangle. Bur- 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 Burma. <laughs> uh, I, I have two that I go to. The one, um, the one I can't do on here because it, it's a visual thing. But I go, I do the, I can do the second one. The second one's like. I don't have a library card, but uh, I like to check you out. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, okay, I got one. <laughs> if I had a dime for every time I saw someone as cute as you, I'd have ten cents. I that one. That's a good one. Do you uh, have any? Have you used any? Real quick. I not used them. What was the one that was used what on was you? The best one you've heard. Used on you. I'm not a fan of them. Oh my god. What's really? one used on you? What was one used on you which, where you were like, oh, okay. Like, like I'll use, I'll if someone that. told you, like, oh, my Lord. <laughs> oh, God. And for our listeners, she kind of looks like Lord. She's yeah, so example. there's going to be a lot of references to Lord. To Lord, Christina. Lord, not our savior, but the yeah. pop the singer. Pop not the one that died for our sins, but the also, one that died for our music. Also, topic, Google how Lord dances, because that is the way I dance. That's reference. Let's not go. So we're still waiting for a pickup line to, to, to get us out of here. Pickup line. <laughs> the slash Lord. Well, we're going to be here until you do. So I'm so sorry. You don't have a choice. So sorry. TikTok. When our listeners want to go to sleep. We can only get the 2 a.m. slot. Because I can tell you my favorite one, but like. already gone. Well, yeah, like. My, my, <laughs> my number one pickup line is it's a visual one, so I can't really do it. Do magic tricks count? No. Do magic tricks count? Not like that. It's just like, cause like, it, it, I can't really do it either. You gotta touch your shoulders. It's let it drop on the table. <laughs> no, you gotta like touch your shoulders. It, it's, it's, it's oh, terrible. you gotta knight her with it. Wait, <laughs> that, you, you're touching your shoulder as a pickup line. Devon, 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 imagine this. We're strangers. We just met. I go. What's your pickup line? My pickup line? What's your pickup line? You no, no. Up to I, 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 I have to do it. No, you have to do it? No, I'll, I'll be like, okay. If you're a pirate, would you have your bird on this shoulder or this shoulder? You need to touch it. That's my favorite one. All right, guys. And we are almost out of time. Wait, did what you like that? What What did you think of that? That was harassment. That was harassment. <laughs> All right, guys. See you guys on the next podcast. Um... Alright, we're signing out. Thank you guys. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Thank you, guys.